Hey, check out the reverb. Okay, towel reverb. We're gonna show you how to use your towel reverb, and it's one of the, it's a free reverb um, for OBS, and uh, it's free. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's show you guys how to get this going. I'm gonna turn this off. So um, I'm gonna turn this off. Go to. So right now I'm using Rodecaster. Go to filter, I'm gonna turn this off. There we go. That's off. I have a compressor on. Okay, um, now let's go to, here I have the link below, but you could just go to um, Google and just look up Tal Reverb. Is it four? Yeah. Just download that and then whatever version you, whatever uh, OS system you're using, go to Windows, download it. I already, I already downloaded it, installed it. And then you just double click on it and then it just, it just gets installed. Okay, uh, fine, I'm gonna show you guys. So I have it in the downloads and then, no, I don't want that. So click install, installer, VST. So go to next, accept, next, blah, 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 next, and install. Oh, yes, finish. Okay, when you're done that, I think you should turn off OBS and restart it again. And then you go to filter, go to filter right here. Hey, let me erase this again. Let's, let's start from scratch. So you go to filter and you go down here to plus sign. Okay. This little plus sign. Plus, and then you go to VST to VST plugins. Okay. It's usually probably at the bottom. VST. Okay. Right now your reverb plugin is probably not selected yet. So you go to VST plugin and then you select, maybe you have other plugins. So you select Tal Reverb. Okay, you select Tal Reverb. Okay. All right, now it's now it's on. And then you could click open plugin interface. So there's a lot of uh there's a lot of uh interface or uh, templates you could use or um not settings, settings. There's a lot of settings here. So right now it's on default. You could drum ambience drum mid-range, so it sounds different for each one of them. Okay. Ta dun dun. Okay, so you could choose them. This is the one I use for singing. Usually use this if you're gonna, if you don't have any, uh, not using like other, uh, what is it, DAWs or other softwares for, or mixers for your if you're gonna sing and stream online, then you could use this. This is really great for just singing. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use it just for normal, just talking normally. Um, so this is a, just a great free plugin and it's, it works, works, pretty works pretty well. Okay, so I hope that helps. I'm gonna just keep this video really short. So, uh, yeah, that's it. A lot of people have been having troubles getting this going. I don't, and it's really simple. And uh, just click your add an audio, audio output capture, audio input capture, and then um, and then go to filter. So sorry, I'm gonna show you again. Go to add audio input capture. Choose your input audio input and then go to filter and add VST and then choose Tal Reverb. Okay. I hope that helps. It's that's simple. I and mean, there's probably other videos out there. You could, you could also look up if this one's not clear enough, but, um, all right. Hope to see your videos using this, um, plugin and, uh, see you around.